Hi and welcome back to the Wicked Thrifter Resale channel. We're back at it today at a few different Goodwills to see if we can find some items to sell and flip on eBay for a profit. We're starting in the vase section and planter section at this Goodwill. This is the first item that I kind of caught my eye but I decided to leave that behind. They had some figurines and some um, items on the shelf. They just didn't have a lot of what I'm looking for this time. I spotted a porcelain or little trinket box. It was a teapot. I thought it was cute. It didn't have the trinket inside and it was only $3.99. I initially grab it, but I end up putting it back as I'm trying to stick to my guns with the um where i if i can buy it for let's say five dollars that i can at least list it for 25 and even though it was only 3.99 it didn't meet those marks but this did i grabbed this this is a fenton glass uh, hummingbird figurine it still had the original label and they only wanted 2.99 for that so that was a nice find for the day looks like you could probably get around you know, 30 to $40 for it, depending. Um, the ones that are hand painted will generally go for a lot more, um, especially if they're signed and in good condition. And the more rare the color is, obviously the higher the price goes. They had a lot of Benihana mugs. It looked like somebody brought in their collection. I'm just scanning the shelf to see if I find anything else of interest. And then I found this. I thought this was pretty cool. This is their um, more modern take on those vintage uh, ceramic Christmas trees that everybody is on the hunt for. Um, so these are obviously a modern take on them. But it was a set of three in graduated sizes and they only wanted $12.99 for it. The original retail asking price was $79.99 for that. I don't think that was a bad deal either for resale or if you were just going to keep them for yourself. I'm trying to check out the shelves to see what was new from the last time I was there. There was a chip on that bird figurine. They had some canisters and some depression glass. Not much that I was interested in picking up. I spotted this little, I don't know if it's a planter or a sponge holder um, of the Pillsbury Doughboy. I ended up leaving that. Just didn't meet my profit margin that I'm looking to get. I grabbed this. I thought this was pretty interesting. This meets my profit. Um, they only wanted $6.99 for it, and it's a little display shelf that you'd hang on your wall for your vintage or die-cast cars or whatever you'd like to put actually, actually on there. But it was in the shape of like a classic car grill, so that was kind of cute. And then these intrigued me. They looked older than they were. Um, I don't know if I show the bottom, I obviously didn't, but they're tar made by Target or for Target and they were sold in 2010. Um, I couldn't find any sold comps, only active listings, so I left that behind. But I did grab this. This is one of those cast iron or metal um, door stops. You can use it as a bookend as well and it's an Easter bunny um, with some flowers and some Easter eggs. So I grabbed that. I don't come across Eastery um, doorstops like that very often. I'll come across a lot of like roosters or more like farm decor. Um, I like to grab the holiday ones because they s tend to sell very well. I was checking to see if this was a Matt's Johansson or Jonasson, I'm not sure how to say that, um, to see if that was signed, but it was not. I 
And I would have grabbed this because it's Mary Engelbrecht. And it's an ornament, like a Christmas ornament, but there seems to be a missing piece at the top. And I wasn't sure if it was going to be like a teapot or something like that. So I left it behind. They had a lot of porcelain or ceramic, it almost looked like Santa hat or heads for doll making. And here we're at another store and I'm checking out the vase section. Checking to see if anything catches my eye. I should have looked over that cranberry glass piece that was hand painted. For some reason I just glossed right over it. And they had a little, um, not a little, but they had an art pottery picture up there at the top. I believed I'd looked at it before, but again, pictures don't sell very well for me. So I try to leave them behind unless they're really something special. I thought this was interesting, but it turned out to be a pretty mass-produced little personal teapot set. You can see that it had the little, like, tea cups or sake. Maybe it was a sake um, set, but I left that behind. I initially grabbed it to put it in the cart and look it up, and then I found that it doesn't sell for very much at all. I did miss those Kemp's uh, dairy coffee mug set, and it looked like a tumbler. I generally pick a lot of those up if the price is right because they can sell between $12 and $18 each. I'm scanning to see if they have any fun art pottery mugs and I didn't see any. I saw this, so I guess that qualifies as one, but um, it wasn't super um, intriguing to me and there wasn't an additional one. So if maybe it had two, I would have grabbed it because then I could have sold it as a pair. Um, but it was a single and it wasn't just a standalone like decorative piece. This was an Otagiri. I don't know if it's like a Victorian or a Rohom um, piece, but it looked like it was a vase. And again, this I put in the cart originally, but I end up putting it back when I do a cart purge. It didn't meet my profit requirements. And sometimes, like this day, I was pretty good about sticking to it for a while. I'm just scanning the shelves. Is that an armadillo down there? I think I look at it in a little bit here. Um, but it was just like plasticky. It wasn't anything special. If it had been like carved or even um, signed, it just had a made in China sticker. I didn't even bother looking up, so hopefully I didn't miss out on something special. A bunch of little gnomes. I was trying to get a look at something up here. Um, there it is. It was a, hol a Halloween version of those Christmas trees, and it was a candy corn one, but it was battery operated, and the selling um, the comps weren't where I needed them to be. And this is the candle section. I'm just checking to see if there's anything special or stand out here, like a glassy baby or something fun like that. They still had this Louisville pottery terrain floating around. It's been there for a couple of months and they've actually still got the price tag of $29.99 on there. I was kind of shocked that's still floating around. And this is another store and I'm checking out the vase section. They didn't have a ton. I wanted to check out the bottom of this to see if it had a maker's mark or a signature and did not, so I left that behind. As you can see, the shelves are kind of sparse. And then I decided to check out the Christmas section to see if I could find anything fun. They're still in the process of loading out a lot of this stuff, and I feel like I've seen a lot of this from prior years. Um, shopping there. Um, I thought this was pretty pretty nice, but it did have a crack in the 
glass there I'll point out in a second. They had some wreaths and stuff. It would be fun to find another fairy light if I could, but I haven't run into those for a long time. Um, on another aisle, I did spot these and I grabbed them. I'm not going to attempt to say the name, but they are made in Uruguay. And it was a set of three of them and I'm selling them individually. They don't sell for a ton. I know some sellers and some YouTubers can get a lot of money for theirs, and I don't know um, why mine don't sell for as much, but I list them at current market value and try to get them to sell pretty fast. I was just checking over the aisles one more time, and I did spot these. They're trinket boxes, and they can do decent depending on the maker. I thought these were kind of cute because they were like an envelope, but they were personalized on the inside. They actually had two of them on the shelf, and then I spotted this Ray Dunn um, divided dish there, and I thought that was neat for like an office, but Ray Dunn has not sell well for me in a long time, so I decided to leave it behind. But this was one last find. thought this was pretty interesting. Definitely is mid-century mid vibes there. Um, so I grabbed that. People like turtles. And it was only $4.99. Um, it doesn't meet my price um, point for a profit, but I grabbed it anyway. It's one of those items that was too cute to leave. I think that's going to wrap it up for us today. Sorry it's a little bit shorter of a video, but I'll be back next Wednesday, or this Wednesday, with a What's Sold Over the Weekend. Thanks again. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.